those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Oh yeah, okay. This is the video now about making the wing part one. <clears throat> okay, so I'll talk through what I've done so far and what the, what the score is. So three pound down to the wing. Right, as you can see the wing's out. Obviously the first thing to do is ascertain exactly where all the ribs are going and what they're doing with them all first before you do anything. Uh, and then um, once you've got everything you know, like obviously you have to pre-drill some of the ribs because obviously uh, this way I'm doing it so that I'm going to put servos in each wing like on most modern planes now rather than the rod business, right? So it's easier to make, one, it's easier to build and two, it's just the way I prefer. And thanks by the way for the people that sent me the uh, information I needed about getting uh, slim servos because uh, that's going to it's what you're going to need in there. Um, so, okay, so that's that. So that main stretch, so as I would do it, Sometimes I white glue these, but uh, at this time I'm just gonna for speed and for the video I'm gonna like, use Sino. So this is basically this is the same all along. Okay, I mean yeah, you just put it in. It's not rocket science, is it? So make sure you got it level with the thing, like so. Uh, you can either I use a fix it fly out, so it's there, and then the next one. Now if you notice, I've built it so it's off the edge of the uh, board because. Basically, um, uh, basically, it's uh, the wings, the ribs are actually concave. So, in order to get the spar on nice and neat, I've put it to the edge so you can actually fit them in right nice and neat. See, and some of these need to be trimmed as well to get to eyelets because they're not. Right, bear in mind, it's a really old kit. Okay, I'll just do them. I'm going to do them all because it'll be there forever. So then, uh, so you got that. Like I say, some people white glue them for extra strength, but this will do just right. Okay. So yeah. Like so. Right. So now, normally I would say I do these without a set square, but in case you're not sure of where you are with it, once you get the first one in, like so, it would quick with this stuff, right? You use your set square. And you've got it nice and straight and you just follow that all the way along right to the end right so there as i said in the last video because of the fuselage the way this plan is made right this plan is, is the wings the wings here they go they actually <coughs> go into the side of the fuse and then all the rigging holds the wings in whereas i'm not really going to do it that way i'm going to do it like the other way like it is on the sotwith pub right so these ribs here you, originally they came with two little thin, I'll get a pair of them now, two thin plywood ribs glued together and then they're, they're in like so. So what I've done is to add extra strength for top of it, I've made my own, just basically drew round them with a nice but thicker piece of ply. And that there, when I get to the end of the ring there, I'll put it on and I've cut, if I can find it. That's the root rib template. So obviously once you get to the end, you get the template up against it nice like so so you know you've got the right dihedral it's important to get that obviously okay and then you obviously trim these off and then i'm going to build the middle section which will fit under the fuse and when i get to that so that's the bottom part and that's the main structure of it so that is really it ladies so i mean the rest of it as i get to it i'll do it but the other thing with this wing is as well um i think i might have it on here there we are, picture of with camel see look so on there, I don't know if you can get it because it's they don't normally usually come up. But you never know. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, I don't know. No. So you can see, I know it's pretty small, but I'll go by these. The bits like this. See, this on here has actually got webbing across the, the actual spars. Right. Whereas on this plan, it doesn't show you that. So I'll have to add them as an extra. Okay. There's certain other things on here as well that are extras. I mean, I know it's not you're not going to see it very well. I'll just try and describe it as I go. Uh, you might see all these wings, but up here and up here on the Shuttleworth version, and I think it's something to do with the CAA regulations. They've got to have inspection hatches that are on there, so they can get into the wing. And uh, I think it's something to do adjust with adjust the wires for the ailerons and stuff. Okay, um, so that's what I've got to build them in, and also where the riggings go, where all this rigging sits here and here and here and here. I'm going to have to put them into the wing ribs as I go along. Okay, so we'll go back to my wing. 
So obviously on here, you, well, we're going to have to fit cut pieces of metal so that I can uh, glue them to the ring ribs. Once I've done the main ring set up, I'll look on there. Because these are actually ribs are actually exactly the same as the ones on the real plane. So the plans are good for that. They set out the same spacing. Right, so that's what I'll have to do as well. They're all extras that are not on the sort of kit. And the inspections will be around about one of these. There's one on each wing. So it's just a little plate you put in. So then I'll show you how I do that because there's a little wheel inside and it looks really just quite handy. And I've got a few of them left. So anyway, I'm rabbiting, but that's that's the main score of it. So there's a lot on this plan that obviously I won't be on this wing that I wouldn't be, I'm not doing because you don't need it. You know, for, except for like for the wires, the main rod it goes through, there's no need for that. You know, so uh, there's a lot of differences, but that, that mainly is it. You know, when I get to the stage of where I'm putting on the uh, the edges, trailing edges and the leading edge. Okay, the leading edge, I might add, <laughs> whilst I've got your attention, the leading edge, it came, it came, oh, it's, it's, I've left that bit deliberately to show you, they came as in like moulded bits of wood, because it's so real. So I uh, stripped it all off and then I've got to plane it down, roughly. So obviously that's your leading edge, which will go on the front there, see? So that'll be that all nicely on. So it's starting to take shape now. And that is basically it, you know. Um, I don't know why they didn't bring them, uh, bring them, but I think it was to stop them warping, which I think is a damn good idea considering, you know, the length of time this model's been in the, pardon me, been in the um, box. Okay, so, as you can see it's on. So what I've done, I thought I'd show you how I do this. So it's uh, so right there. So I'll start with, all you do is you, you, you put these up against your ribs and then you go down and mark them, each one with a pencil and go right along the lot. As you go along the lot, okay, you've obviously got it in place. Take it out. Use white glue, 10 minute white PVA glue along all the, glue along all the bits you've marked, okay? And when you put it in, hold it. I tend to, I use these clamps and you basically, once you've got it in situ, there and there, you just clamp it in. That's simple enough. Clamp it in like so, along, so you got it nicely even with the rest of the ribs. Because sometimes it's a bit warped, but you'll get it. That's it'll straighten itself out. It's quite nice. And that's how I've done that. Okay. So the other thing I've been looking at as well, this wasp in here. I've put the little gusset things in as they are. No idea why, but they are. Okay. So what remains is to trim the edges here. So you probably won't see it on the camera. But what I've been thinking about is the aileron. Okay, the aileron is, um, they've got it so that it's a flat, and I'll try and move the camera, see if you can see on the plan. Oh, it will melt. Right, but it's got it so that it's, it's where well, the hinges are on the bottom, the hinge will be sat, the hinge, it, it screw the hinge up into the hardwood pits, so that it just sits flat like that and it's got an angle, so it, you've basically got the angle so that the elevator will go up so far down so far but i don't think it looks too real realistic to the real plane i tend to make the old-fashioned way where you've got the angle in the middle so you've got the hinge going through the middle of the angle so you've got two ways it's equal that way and then round it off so it looks a bit more like the real thing and so i'm going to do it that way so this is going to be slightly built differently um the on you know, and the wing tip as well i'm going to try and do something different with that um and see how that goes because I think the pup, the pup version is a bit more stronger wingtip and there's no weight difference to be honest so I'll do it that, when that comes to that I'll show you that and uh, I've ascertained where the ribbing, rigging goes and the little hook thing I was on about the inspection hole so basically that's it for now ok I hope that helps, so don't forget once you've got it white glue these in, it's a must right, same with the last rib here I forgot to say yesterday the last main rib that's holding the wing together I white glue that one in. These are all right to be used with a pot, uh, the cyano glue because it's all right. But the main one I've white glued in all that, so it's had strength. Okay, free pan over to the map plan, whatever. All right, as it says on here, you got to splice your uh, main spars on this wing because there's only a single spar wing in it, or that goes over the ribs or between the ribs. So what you do is you just mark it like I've done there and there. And then to cut it, no matter if it's rough, because it, the glue in between will hold that. And I tend to do them two ways. So you've got the splice going on that way, and then the splice running the other way. So that adds the strength to it, because that is really it there. That's what's going to hold that. 
So I'm going to like a bit of okay, and then it's just a simple fact of just make sure you, uh, you glue it uh, there. one glue down, 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 as one does. Just tuck it all day a bit. My camera lady, having a tea break while she's doing this. <laughs> That's good. That's always the top. <laughs> Right, there you go, then spread it with your finger. That's oh, nice, even. Okay. I suppose this is self explanatory. Okay, so we got it like so. Please make sure it's in there. Yeah, no, no. That's there. Okay, and then you just get one million clamps as you do. It helps to have as many clamps as you can possibly get. Okay, and then the spoiler suit. Let's quickly clamp it in, making sure it's level. Try and keep it with a plan straight. Uh, that's about it. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Put as many clumps in as you like. I mean, uh, I'll do it. Right. So give it a quick wash off. Oh, make sure it's flat. Yeah. Oh, well, that's that bit. So yeah, uh, so that's the obviously the full length of the wing. When it's uh, and there's no dihedral in the top wing on the top with camel, it's flat. And so that's at least a little bit easier. This bit in the middle I might add is this is an open panel. That uh, like, even on the on the real plane, it's an open panel, so that the pilot can see better when through the wing to see the enemy. So they say, okay, right. So now I've actually more or less done. This is the wing now. You want to concentrate on what you're doing. Stop drinking your coffee. You're getting paid for this, right? So uh, that's told there. I'll never get a video again. Right. So you can see, there's the bit I was on about. It's a little bit of wire goes in there. You stain that bit because a couple of coats are stained because that's what it's stained inside on the real plane. Now the bit I want to show you on this is here. I've done here. Right. This is not as to the plan because the plan expects it to just cut out parts of the rib. <clears throat> I just thought, well, I want to hide the bolt. I've used locking nuts in there. This these bit of metal came with a bracket, so you just bend it to shape, drill the right size hole, just through three mil holes in there. This is obviously for the the strut, right? So and then I've re put a piece in here to reinforce it. So once it's all covered, it won't bend so bad. Okay, then obviously that side as well because of the little rib. So, so and that's it. Basically, there you just drill a. I've done it that way. So you drill a hole and then underneath. I've, I've reinforced it here with spruce, bit of spruce here, obviously, because I've drilled into there to uh, hide the bolt. Okay, so that's all there is. I mean, that's the ring more or less finished. And I'm still like, people are still arguing over the fact that he should have spars on the top. And some are saying they ain't. Nobody's told me any different. So tomorrow I'm going to ring Shuttleworth and one of the engineers there, and I'm going to ask him uh, and see what he says. Okay. They all should know, they'll tell me, and then we'll do that, whatever they say. Okay, so that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. So, obviously, everything else is self explanatory. Like I said, it's exactly the same as the first wing I showed you how to make. You just put everything back in its place. You know, this is really straightforward now. You've done one wing, so the rest should follow suit. And as I said before, this is a flat wing, so this is like not a problem at all. So, you've got obviously, I've like you can see here. I've put all the placing so I know where everything is, where to go, more or less. So it'll be a straightforward thing, bang it out. And the only difference here is you've got to put a bit of acetate over this because it's see-through, up at the top and bottom is clear. So I'll show you there, it's not a problem. And other than that, and then this bit of the wing off, when I come to this bit, again I expect you to bend it all around, so I ah, don't bother. I'll do it my own way. So that bit I'll show you how that's done. Okay? And we shall go and take it from there. Okay, I might strengthen this a little bit more because I don't buy this, to be honest. It's a little bit, you can't help it to her, strengthen it a bit. Okay, well, that's it. So, there's our cheerio, and bye. Those magnificent men, those magnificent men.